All right. Hey, everyone. Marc Bouffa here, live at the Bouffa Pro Shop here in Montreal, Quebec. Bonjour tout le monde, ici Marc Bouffa, en direct du Pro Shop de Bouffa Distribution, en direct avec vous ce matin, avec Vice, Cecil, qui est avec nous, représentant de la compagnie Vice. Une des premières fois qu'on a une compagnie d'accessoires qui est parmi nous, donc très, très grandement apprécié. And uh, we're here this morning live with Cecil from Vice. Uh, really glad to have... Uh, Finally, a, uh, a rep from uh, an accessory company to come see us, so uh, glad, glad to have you. Thanks, Mark. Yeah. Pleasure to be here. So, uh, Cecil, this morning we're going to demo a couple of products, um, uh, some that we actually do use here in the pro shop quite a bit, right. and uh, really looking forward to seeing what, what we're going to be uh, talking a little bit about together. So, this morning, we're going to do a few demos de plusieurs products that we use here in the pro shop. Um, and what the, the first one you want to talk about actually is running. Correct. So, uh, if you hear no noise, that's because the Vice vacuum system is so efficient. And the way they have the system set up is exactly how we describe it in the video. The vacuum is actually in another room. They've got piping running over the ceiling to create the suction from the vacuums. But then everything goes into the catch can, so now you're not having to beat the filters out in the vacuum anymore. The place remains dust free because everything gets caught into there, so you're not breathing the dust anymore. The dust isn't getting into your showroom out here. Also, with the quietness of the noise as being basically zero noise whatsoever, it doesn't affect your retail space out, right out in front. So, uh, multiple things going on, but as you can see, we've got suction, system is on, but no noise. And that's one of the big key features to this system, is the fact that you can put the vacuum anywhere you want. Keep the catch can right here close to your vacuum cleaner, and you're, you're actually for your drill press, and I mean, yes, it's a really nice system and it works. Donc le premier produit qu que Cecil veut vous démontrer, c'est le nouveau système de vacuum de Vice. Donc dans le fond, on l'utilise ici dans notre pro-shop. Euh, puis dans le fond, on le voit ici à côté de la presse drill. Euh, c'est dans le fond une cacane qui ramasse toute la poussière. Puis les deux aspirateurs sont dans une autre pièce. Donc euh, durant la conversation avec Cecil, les aspirateurs roulaient, puis on les entendait même pas. Donc euh, c'est très très silencieux. Ici dans notre pro-shop, c'est à air ouvert. Donc, euh, ça permet à nous ici de faire notre job sans avoir trop de dérangement avec le son de l'aspirateur. Puis on va vous montrer tout à l'heure euh, où est-ce que les aspirateurs sont. And we'll bring the people out back later to see where the, 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 sure. the, the vacuums are. And uh, I'll, I'll attest to it because, you know, the reason, like as you can see here, we've got two drill presses. And um, what we had in the past was we just had the vacuums in the back room. And what would happen was... Sometimes, like when you're cutting some slugs or you have like really thick shavings, they would get stuck in the pipes that are up in the, in the suspended ceiling. And that was really, really tough to, to, to work it out. So what we did is we put the catch cans right here so all the dust and all the particles go into the can. And the only thing going through the suspended ceiling is, is, is the air, right? right. So, so it's awesome. And actually, we bought some small, um, I think it's like, what, 30-gallon... Nothing too big, you know, all you need is a, is a strong motor, so we got six, a six, and, a six and a half horsepower. Got two of them, threw them in back on the shelf, done. Right, and they're tucked away out of the way up off the floor, so you still have your space down at the bottom you can use for the warehouse and everything exactly, else. Exactly, yeah. Donc, euh, qu'est-ce que nous on avait fait ici, c'est que euh, dans le passé, on avait deux aspirateurs complets qui étaient dans une autre salle. Puis ce qui arrivait, tu sais, des fois, on va couper une slug ou, euh, tu sais, des particules de boule qui vont être un peu plus euh, épaisses, vont rester pris dans, dans le tubing qui est dans le plafond. Donc, euh, dans le fond, ce qu'on a fait ici, c'est qu'on a mis les, les cannes ici sur le côté. Donc, euh, toute la poussière se ramasse juste à côté de la perceuse. Donc, si jamais, euh, disons, c'est jamais à quelque part, mais je sais que c'est entre la perceuse et la, la cacane. Et tout ce qui passe dans le plafond, c'est de l'air. Donc, euh, c'est énorme. Ça fait, je pense, quatre ou cinq mois qu'on a ça ici. Et c'est magnifique. Uh, we've had this for about four or five months. And we drill a lot of balls. We drill all the, the demo balls for all of our uh, manufacturers. We obviously do a lot of retail, as you can see, the, the right. shop's got a bunch of people in here already. And we've only emptied them once, you know, so the capacity of the bags is, is, is humongous also, right? Yeah, we're seeing that you get somewhere between 50 to 60 balls out of each bag. Right. So with that, I mean, just the ease of changeability on the vacuum bags, everything else, you can put them in another bag, drop them in, get them out of the way, get started, keep going, and, just, and then yeah. take it out as you need. Puis l'autre chose que je dis, euh, ici on perce aussi toutes les boules démo que vous voyez dans vos salons euh, de quilles préférés. Euh, donc on en perce beaucoup de boules ici. Puis euh, on, on a juste changé les sacs une fois depuis qu'on a le système. Donc euh, très très grande capacité aussi. Um, Alright, so um, 
we want to really talk to you guys today about uh, CS Hybrid. Uh, what else? We got the, the Vice got IT. The, about the IT system and the Ferrari jig. Teach you how to use this and how you can use this not only with the IT system, but standard slugs as well. Right. And then also the, the feel of tape, and I was telling you about uh, my experience with it, so we'll, we'll, we'll dive into that a little bit sure, more absolutely. later on. Donc, euh, ce qu'on va faire maintenant, c'est qu'on va vous démontrer euh, trois autres produits, euh, dont le, le plug CS Hybride, c'est une plug rapide d'extrêmement très bonne qualité. Euh, après ça, on a le système interchangeable Vice Hit qu'on va vous montrer. Euh, non seulement le système interchangeable, mais aussi comment... Euh, même si vous n'avez pas un, un Pro Shop qui est équipé pour faire des, des pouces interchangeables, comment utiliser le Ferrari Jig pour percer des ovales, même si vous ne savez pas comment, comment le faire. Et on va terminer avec le, le nouveau Fillet Tape, euh, que d'ailleurs, ça fait quelques semaines que moi perso, j'utilise. So, um, so, yeah, we got a ball here, ready to plug. Yeah, we're going to have a little fun today. Um, so, as you can see here, we've actually cut right into the center of the two colors. Well, today I'm going to show you how you can actually use a CS hybrid and actually plug both colors at the same time. So now we can, because of the material set up so quickly, we can actually put the two colors. The colors don't want to blend together. They'll stay separated. So you can actually see the line in the ball. So we can get this a lot closer than what we would with a normal conventional plug. Donc ce qu'on va vous montrer maintenant, if you could just flip it back over so I can explain. Ici, on a mis un trou ici dans une séparation de couleurs parce qu'on a une section qui est grise, une section qui est jaune. On va vous montrer avec le produit CS Hybride, vu que c'est quelque chose qui va curer assez rapidement, euh, qu'on va être capable de faire une séparation dans les couleurs très très facilement. Donc euh, pour faire une, une meilleure job de finition euh, pour vos jobs de, de rebouchage. All right. So uh, talk to me a little bit about the advantage, because there's no pump kit with the, the CS Hybrid, correct? Correct. Uh, we have actually gotten rid of the pumps with this product uh, and with our other plug, Rapid Cure. Uh, the reason we did that, we went with the Yorker top pouring systems, was because when urethane touches air, it crystallizes. Well, then you would get all the crystallization in the pumps, then you're constantly having to clean the pumps out, you can't get them to work. It's just frustrating. Right. So what we did is we got rid of them. And with the system here and the way the cups are designed, you can actually take this Yorker top, put it right against the side of the cup, squirt the material down the side of the cup, and actually end up with zero air bubbles when you're mixing it and getting ready to pour it. So not only has it gotten rid of the clogging of the pumps, but it's also become more efficient with how we actually push it. Also, every time you turn this over to pour it, you're actually remixing this material. So now you don't get that sediment at the bottom as well. Donc, euh, l'une des choses qu'on va voir ici avec le CS Hybride, c'est que, euh, ben dans le fond, il n'y a pas de pompe. Donc, euh, vous voyez que c'est juste un, un dévidoir, si on veut, sur le dessus. Puis l'avantage de ça, c'est qu'à chaque fois qu'on va en verser, on a les cups spéciales ici qui sont gradués. Donc, on peut facilement mesurer vraiment la bonne quantité de produits. Et deuxièmement, on peut le mélanger sans avoir aucune bulle d'air dans la pompe. Et aussi, à chaque fois qu'on verse le contenant, dans le fond, ça remélange le produit pour une meilleure finition. So, one of the key things with the CS Hybrid is the fact that you see the hardener is actually darker. So, you're actually going to mix your color in the hardener instead of in the resin. Okay. So, once we get the color where we want it with the resin, once we put the resin in on top of it, it's not going to change colors on Correct. us. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and get two cups set up. We're going to have one for the silver and one for the yellow. Okay. Donc maintenant ce qu'on va faire, si vous regardez ici, on utilise la partie A qui est le, le hardener, qui est le durcisseur. Ok. On voit ici qu'il est plus foncé que la résine. Donc ce que lui suggère de faire, c'est de mélanger votre couleur seulement avec la partie A en premier. Ok. Right. So we're going to pour a little bit more than what we need in here. We're just going to go. So now what we're going to do is we're just going to put this right down the side of the cup. We're going to go right here to the graduated cylinders. We're going to go to one ounce. Donc ici on va mettre une ounce de partie A. <coughs> so now we're going to start getting our yellow. OK, donc on va travailler en premier lieu maintenant sur la partie jaune de notre tropical qui est ici. So we're going to work on the, uh, the bright side. <laughs> so now we're also, this is a pearl. So we actually have a pearl paste, and this is a very concentrated paste. The other thing, our plug colors are pure pigment, so it doesn't take quite as much of the material as it normally does. Okay, donc uh, l'autre chose à, à, à regarder aussi, c'est que les 
le kit de couleur de Vice, ce sont des pigments. Donc, ça prend beaucoup moins de produits pour arriver à la bonne couleur. So, what do you put in? Pearl paste, white? We're going to put pearl paste in yellow, and then we're going to shake the white up. What, the, what was that artist uh, there with the big hair on the TV there? What's his name? Bob. Uh, I can't remember his last name. Oh, man. Yes, Bob. <laughs> He had happy trees. We have happy plug. We have happy plug. <laughs> well, actually, we have happy customer because our plug can actually look like our material. Move up a bit so people can see. So now, as you can see, we're starting to get close to our, our yellow here. And all I've done is just use yellow, white, and the pearl paste. Okay, so you only mixed one part of the hardener. Uh, so, yeah, you only mixed the, the, the one part. So you can keep adding color as, as you please. That's correct. Until you get to the right... So you're in no rush? Nope, because by only using the hardener, you're not worried about any type of uh, reaction or anything else. And we've got a little bit of green in there, so we're going to take it here. Donc, euh, vu qu'il a juste mélangé une des deux parties du, euh, de la plug, il n'y a pas besoin d'être pressé pour mélanger sa couleur. Donc, en faisant ça, il est capable de, de vraiment mettre au point la couleur avant de mettre son deuxième, sa deuxième partie du plug pour que ça durcisse. Okay, so we've got the yellow pretty close. Now we're going to do the black. All right, you're going to do the silver. So what we're going to do is one drop of black. Donc, euh, n'hésitez pas, si vous avez des questions ou commentaires, euh, c'est définitivement le temps avec euh, Cecil ici. So please don't hesitate. Uh, questions or comments, obviously, now's the time with uh, Cecil here. Correct? Absolutely. If you have any questions, please don't hesitate to ask us, and we will answer them right there as we're doing this. Pretty good. So now, as you can see, now we're starting to get the gray in the unit. So now we're close to getting our gray. We've got our yellow. A little bit of black. Like I said, the nice thing with the colors being so concentrate, it doesn't take a lot of the material to get it there. Now we're starting, yeah. now we're starting yeah. to get a lot closer to the silver, just a little bit more white, and then we'll be ready to actually mix. And what, one of the things, too, that, that we hear, because, uh, you know, uh, Quick Plug's been around for a really long time, um, but it's always been hard to match the colors, and hence the name CS Hybrid, is that it's got the Quick Plug properties, but also with the color matching properties of a regular uh, non-Quick Plug, correct? Correct. So basically what you have in this product is the best of all three worlds. And when I say that, you have the ability to, for it to cure in an hour like a urethane. It'll color like an eight-hour epoxy, but it'll also polish just like a bowling ball. So you get the best of both worlds. With conventional urethane plug, you can never get it to polish. If you use epoxy so you can get it to polish, it was eight hours cure time. You can actually plug a bowling ball, finger, thumb, and weight hole, and put it back in a customer's hand in less than two hours from start to finish. Um, the nice right, and, thing. and obviously, like here being in a standalone shop, uh, quick plug for us has always been a must have. You know, we've always had people come in from out of town and we got to get them in and out in the same day. So, having this new product with us for now, what, about three, four years, um, it's been a great addition to, the, to our pro shop. Donc, um, CS Hybrid, c'est le meilleur des trois mondes, comme il dit. Uh, c'est un produit qui va durcir en dedans d'une heure. Uh, c'est un produit que, qui se polie très facilement et qu'on est vraiment capable d'agencer les couleurs vraiment comme il faut. Donc, uh, uh, typiquement avec des plugs rapides, c'est des couleurs qui sortent très ternes. C'est très difficile de matcher les couleurs. Donc maintenant, vous avez un produit que vous pouvez faire uh, une boule au complet pour un client en dedans de deux heures puis c'est très facilement faisable. D'ailleurs, nous ici dans notre Pro Shop, pas étant dans un bowling, Typiquement, les gens vont venir ici et ils veulent le service le même jour. Donc, pour nous, c'est un excellent ajout. OK. So, now that we've got our colors ready, now we're actually mixing the resin. This is a one-to-one -one mix. So, we put one ounce of each, and now we're going to take this to two ounces in each, each container. Again, now you can just pour right down the stir stick. OK. Donc, maintenant, on est en train de mettre la deuxième once de l'autre partie, la partie de résine. Once we get this done, then comes the fun part. <laughs> I 
I'm curious. <laughs> Maybe I'll be part of the bowling ball plugging Hall of Fame. <laughs> With your tricks. <laughs> so the fun part is, now as you can see, once we got this, now you can see how bright that yellow is getting. So the, one of the questions that we get a lot is like, what what are you what are you trying to do when you're mixing? Are you trying to just mix that you don't get any bubbles? What are you? Correct. There's actually a procedure to mix urethane correctly. Right. What we do is we keep the stir stick against the bottom of the cup. We rotate the cup and we actually do a figure eight motion. Okay. If we do all of this and keep it from coming in and out of the plug, you'll actually cut your bubbles down significantly. Okay. Now when I was saying here comes the fun part, because now I have two cups to mix. So I have to mix one a little bit and then go to the other one and mix the other one. Again, figure eight motions, constantly moving the plug, and then you want to scrape the sides of the cup. Right. Because keeping it against the bottom, you're always scraping the bottom. Correct. Yeah. So now we're going to... You want me to take the other cup or are you good? No, we're good. Okay. I'm going to show you how you can do this by yourself. <laughs> But there is one. All right, trick. let's get a little bit closer. Move you guys up a bit. So, well. Sorry for the shaky camera. Perfect. Okay. No pressure, Cecil. Here is the trick. No pressure. <laughs> now we are actually going to pour this down the stir stick. By doing this, it removes the bubbles from the system. Now we're about two thirds of the way up. Now we're going to start pouring some of our gray in. That's pretty good. So now as you see when I pour that gray, you can now actually manipulate the color. So now when we get finished, so now I'm going to separate this a little bit more. I'm going to go over here and I'm going to take this and I'm going to get that gray out of that yellow. And then before we get finished today, we're actually going to cut this down so you can actually see what the finished product is underneath. And we'll see, see how close I got those lines uh, to that plug. But as you can see, you can actually do multiple colors with this. Uh, you can also take the two colors, like say you were mixing this and you were wanting to do this, and you could actually pour, start with a lighter color, then you could actually pour the uh, darker color into it, swirl it. Uh, with that, here's the key part. This product is already starting to gel up. Okay, donc comme on voit, on a un excellent mélange de couleurs. Puis comme il vous montre, c'est déjà quelque chose qui est en train de durcir. Donc, euh, on va être capable de bouger la boule euh, quand même assez rapidement. Um, that's a really nice color, man. So yeah, I mean, you can actually start playing around with it. You can, <laughs> but it will actually harden as it's, it'll actually stop. So, the, here's, the, here's the nice thing with this plug. We're already starting to get this to gel up. In about a minute or two, you can actually move that and start plugging the next set of holes. So that's how you can get it done quickly because you can pour thumb or finger and within seven minutes you can actually move it and be ready to pour, pour the next hole. So once it gets to this point, I would already start pouring my next set of plug color, get it up, pop the dam on, pour the fingers, and now you've got a ball plugged in less than 10 minutes. Exactly. And what we're going to do is we're going to move on to the next uh, segment and at the end of the show, we'll cut it down to show you exactly what it would look like once we're all said and done. Donc, euh, ce qu'on va faire, on va passer à la prochaine étape, puis euh, on va laisser ça durcir, puis d'ici la fin de notre émission, on va être en mesure de le couper puis de vous montrer le produit fini. Est-ce qu'il y a des questions, commentaires? Euh? Pas rien jusqu'à date? OK. Yeah, OK. Move it back. Move it back. While he's moving that, real quick, I'm just going to go over. One, if you get the colors on your hands, instead of using acetone to try and get them off, the acetone just burns the color into your skin. Uh, just a simple uh, the dial antibacterial soap or hand sanitizer will take the color right off the skin. 
Okay, donc si jamais vous avez euh, les couleurs, vu que c'est juste un pigment, euh, sur vos mains, euh, juste n'importe quel, euh, euh, comment tu appelles ça, là, le, le, sanita euh, le truc sanitaire là, pour laver les mains. Hein. Ça fait un... pas le savoir. <rire> du, euh, le, le purel, là. Le purel, le purel le ou euh, n'importe quel savon doux, euh, ça, ça l'enlève très très facilement. Right. Now, here comes the fun part. For Ari Jig. Nice. This is a tool that every pro shop should have, from a digital drill press all the way down to a gill mac. I mean, this is the key right here. Because you can now actually drill an oval without having to have digitals. All you need to do is know the sizes. This tells you the oval angles built into the system. So when you rotate this to line up to your oval angle, that makes your vertical movement for you. Correct. Now all you have to do is make lateral moves to cut your width. You're done. Donc l'avantage ici euh, qu'on va vous parler de, du Ferrari jig qui est très très important pour l'installation d'un vice hit, mais aussi si vous n'avez pas un système de, de pouces amovibles comme ça, puis vous voulez juste être capable de faire des pouces ovales, euh, peu importe la machine que vous avez, vous, vous n'aviez pas besoin d'avoir les digitales euh, pour vous donner vos coordonnées. Parce que ici, si vous voyez ici, on a tous les angles déjà dédiés. Donc avec ça ici, if you can just uh, read, read display. Donc, sure. euh, donc si on prend le le mécanisme ici, puis on le rentre, disons, à, pour un droitier à 40 degrés. Bon, là maintenant, tout ce qu'on a à faire, c'est de se déplacer de façon latérale, et c'est terminé. Donc, pour faire des ovales très, très faciles, de juste de bouger de gauche à droite. Euh, N'importe quelle machine que vous avez, peu importe, juste la capacité de faire maintenant une slug euh, prépercée, ovale, c'est un, une valeur ajoutée à votre clientèle. So, a great value added to any type of pro shop, no matter what they're drilling. Absolutely. And the other key feature is, I'm going to see if we can get this close enough here. You actually see right here, there's a, there's a male protrusion here. That lines up with the vent line of the slug. So now when you put this in, this won't rotate. Well, by doing that, you can not only use an it slug like we have here, you can use a standard slug to drill. So you can actually pre-drill slugs for a customer before you ever put them in a the ball. So, so you've got a customer that's going to go out to a tournament and they may drill some bowling balls, but you do a really good job with their thumb. Well now, but they don't use the interchangeable, they use a slug. <laughs> you can pre-drill them slugs before they ever go to the tournament. All you got to do then is install them once they're drilled. Right. Donc, euh, comme il dit, l'autre avantage, c'est que, euh, comme ils vous ont montré ici, c'est la petite coche de ventilation qui va faire en soi que la slug est prise dans le mécanisme. Mais aussi, l'avantage, c'est que vous pouvez pré-percer le pouce et donner des, des, des slugs pré-percés à votre clientèle si jamais ils vont dans un tournoi, ils veulent se faire percer une boule là-bas, etc. Donc ça vous donne vraiment l'opportunité euh, de faire quelque chose de plus euh, custom, si on veut, pour notre clientèle, si vous n'êtes pas déjà équipé pour, pour le faire avec, euh, avec une, une perceuse de peut-être plus haute qualité ou truc genre. Okay? So let's take and, this. and this is included with the starter kit, correct? That is correct. Whether you do the basic starter kit or the deluxe starter kit, the Ferrari jig comes with it. Okay. The nice thing with the Ferrari jig is the fact that it has four quadrants. You've got two for right hand, two for left hand. So you actually have your 15 to 55 degrees here. You have your 10 to 60 degrees here for right handed and left handed. Okay. The other key feature is this. The thick line represents the numbers that are on the ball. The thin line will actually get you a plus two and a half degrees for a right hander, minus two and a half degrees for a left hander. So you can actually do two and a half degree increments from 10 to 60 degrees. Nice. Okay, donc comme il montre ici, on a les incréments pour les droitiers, les gauchers, de 10 degrés jusqu'à euh, ouais, c'est ça, de 10 degrés jusqu'à 90 degrés. Et ensuite ici, on a les lignes épaisses qui vont démontrer les chiffres. Et aussi, si on met, si on s'enligne avec la ligne qui est un peu moins épaisse, ça nous ajoute un 2 un degrés et demi plus de variance. Donc, euh, si vous êtes juste habitué à faire des incréments de, de 5 degrés, avec ça ici, vous allez être capable de faire encore plus de précision sur vos ovales. The other key is the fact that you have four different adapters. Right. It'll go from an inch and an eighth, inch and a quarter, inch and three eighths, and inch and a half slug. Right. So here we've got a one and three eighths slug with no bullet on it. Okay. So this will fit in, in your mechanism, correct? Oh, sorry about that. 
Yep. <laughs> it will still fit with no problem because everything's held by the vent line. Correct. So if you are not going to drill a slug with a slug it built onto it, you're going to drill a standard slug for a customer. Then what we have is an adapter that goes into the bottom of the, of the Ferrari jig and it's made out of Teflon. They're free, they're no charge. All you do is put that in and it just protects the bottom of the, the Ferrari jig so you don't drill into it. Great. Okay, donc si jamais vous voulez faire ça euh, sur les slugs, vous pouvez aussi avoir euh, euh, pour le Ferrari jig juste un petit protecteur de Teflon pour pas ne percer dans, euh, dans le jig lui-même. Um, so this is also sold separately, correct? Correct. Okay. Right. Okay. Donc euh, le Ferrari jig vient si vous avez le kit euh, starter de, du hit soit celui avec les trois mèches ou celui avec la une mèche uh, et aussi le jig se vend séparément. All right. So what comes in the starter kit? So in the in the basic starter kit, you get the Ferrari jig and the four adapters. You get your drill bit and your insertion tool and all the stuff that you need to install the bolts in one size drill bit, either a one and five sixteenths or a one and seven sixteenths. That will be either an inch and a quarter or an inch and three eighths slug. Yeah, slug. Right. Et donc, euh, dans le kit de départ, pour ceux qui sont intéressés, ça vient avec le jig, les quatre adapteurs et tous les outils que vous voyez ici pour être capable de faire euh, au moins un, un des grandeurs. Donc, si vous prenez le kit complet, ça vient avec les trois mèches. Sinon, ça vient avec la, la mèche de votre choix pour soit des slugs 1 et quart ou 1 et 3 vides. OK. So, then you'll also get 20 bullets for the basic kit, 40 bullets for the deluxe kit, 12 thumbs for the basic, 24 thumbs for the, for the deluxe kit more than enough product to actually pay for the whole system. Okay. Donc, euh, encore une fois, qu'est-ce qui vient dans le kit? Vous avez une série euh, de, 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 de ballettes qui vont à l'intérieur de la boule euh, et aussi euh, une série de, 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 de parties amovibles qui va aussi euh, être inclus dans le package pour vous aider à rentabiliser euh, l'achat de, de l'équipement. All right. Okay, so we're going to take this over to the drill press and we're actually going to drill a thumb in the Ferrari jig. Okay, great. Donc maintenant, on va percer une boule avec le Ferrari Jig. On va s'approcher un peu. Donc, on va mettre ça à 40 degrés pour un joueur right handed player. Donc so maintenant, comme vous pouvez voir, nous avons notre ligne ici pour le Ferrari Jig, right handed quadrant, 40 degrés. Now, si vous notice, la vent line est dans l'opposite position. Don't worry about that. It's going to come out correctly when we're done. Okay, donc ici maintenant on est aligné pour faire un ovale à 40 degrés pour un droitier un RH. Okay. Oui, le, le truc de ventilation est ici en haut, mais n'inquiétez-vous pas, ça va bien, ça va bien sortir. Okay. Perfect. Centering pin, but we're good. Okay, so now what we're going to do is we're going to make sure this is at 40 degrees. So we're going to line this up with the vent line. Where it's at now. Then we're going to put the thick line as your center line of grip. Okay, donc maintenant on va s'aligner avec la grosse ligne uh, ici comme étant notre centre de prise. Uh, la, la, ligne, la ligne de centre, excusez. Here's the other key. Always drill this at zero zero. Put the pitch in the ball. Never drill pitch in this unit. Okay. Donc euh, l'autre chose qui est très importante quand vous allez utiliser le Ferrari jig, c'est de toujours percer à zéro zéro. Ne jamais mettre du pitch dans la slug. Mettez-le dans la boule. So we're just going to randomly drill a slug. We're not going to try and fit a person's hand here. We're just going to show you how simple this is to use. <laughs> Joe, you wanted a ball drill? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Donc là, juste pour euh, fait de démonstration, on va simplement juste percer un trou euh, très standard. Euh, juste, euh, désolé Joe, on ne prendra pas ta mesure. <laughs> That's okay, Joe. We'll draw you one when we're done. I know. <laughs> Quiet vacuum. So you just centered yourself with the center of the, the slope. Right? Correct. Okay. Just a little bit off there, but I just tap it. Tap, tap it in. <laughs> That's right, just tap it in. Oui, c'est mon grand bien, mon boule. OK, 
Hey Jolene, how's it going? Jolene's watching. <laughs> oh, hi Jolene. How are you? Now normally with this system, with the vice vacuum system, I would actually use the drill shield that I'll show you in just a moment. But because of me wanting you to see what I'm doing, then we won't use that in this in this instance. But as you can see, this system, now we've hit the stop disc on the bottom of the slug. So now we're just going to take this and we're going to move this. Canadian it's, version, the buttons aren't in the same spot. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> and they're metric. <laughs> we're going to go 70 thousandths. Now, I would never cut this much with a customer. <laughs> but we're doing this for time saving. I would normally cut no more than 30 thousandths at a time. Now we're going to go 70 to the other side. These are just numbers that I picked at random. This is not for any particular customer. This is just to show you how the system works. So just to reiterate, on a on the standard deluxe kit, you get 24 thumbs. You get 24 thumbs, yep. 40 bullets. Is that what you said? 40 bullets. Okay. Yep. Donc, donc juste pour pour le euh, euh, parler. Le kit de luxe va venir avec les mèches, plusieurs mèches. Va venir avec 24 euh, slugs Slug. et 40 oh. bullets qui vont à l'intérieur. You also have the basic starter pack. Right, Correct. which only comes with the one drill bit. Correct, and then and that comes with half of the product. It comes with 20 bullets and 12 thumbs. Okay, and if you take this kit that incorporates just one mesh, it comes with 12 and 20. 12 and 20. 12 and 20 bullets. Not enough coffee today. No coffee this morning. I'm running late. Hey, we're up. Now, here's the other key with the system. So, you, so, so you, we just cut this at zero, just moved one way. You correct? want to move lateral, horizontally, you don't have to move vertical at all. And, and we have a, a perfectly oval. centered oval. oval. Now, here's the key. Let me translate. <laughs> you got to use the translation, come on. Okay, donc ici, on a percé la boule à zéro, très simple. On a une slug parfaitement centrée, avec l'oval parfaitement centré. Uh, what'd you go there, 70,000? 70, 70 each way. Okay, 70 each way, so 140,000. Total. Correct. Uh, perfectly centered at 40 degrees just by moving your table one way. Okay? Donc on a fait uh, un uh, c'est ça, un ovale parfaitement centré, 140 millième, juste en déplaçant notre table uh, de façon horizontale, très très simple. Now if you noticed, I pulled the thumb out, the jig never moved. So we are exactly where we left off. So if this was for you, and we'd go to test this, and it was too small, and it is, <laughs> then we could actually take it, put it right back in, make another cut, and we're exactly where we left off to the thousands of an inch. So by doing that, you can really manipulate the system to create multiple things. Now, once we did that, and you wanted to do another one, go back to zero and just duplicate the process. Well, the other thing too, since the ball never moved, if I wanted to drill a second one, just take another slug. Uh, Correct. Uh, put it back to zero and do it again. Good to go, yeah. Donc, l'autre avantage, comme il dit, si, disons, il y a juste un petit ajustement à faire, on le sort du mécanisme, on regarde, OK, c'est trop petit, on ajoute quelques cotes ou on peut même changer de, de mèche, tout court, puis on est capable de vraiment mettre à, la fi, mettre à la fine pointe avant de la coller dans la boule. Donc, un autre gros avantage. L'autre avantage, comme moi je disais, si je veux en faire deux ou trois pour un client, euh, la boule n'a pas bougé. Donc, moi, je peux facilement juste remettre une deuxième slug dans le jig, puis recommencer, puis tout est beau, là, tu sais, donc très très facile à dupliquer. Um, great. So, now even as simple as if you wanted to drill another slug for a customer that was an inch and a quarter, you would simply take this out, put the inch and a quarter in, put the oval angle that you want in, go back to zero and drill. Exactly, perfect. Yeah, because you're already centered and Correct. everything's good. Donc, comme il dit aussi, si, si disons vous avez un autre slug à percer pour un client, Vous faites juste changer votre adapteur, disons à un et quart. Vous le prenez, mettez dedans. Votre machine est déjà centrée. Merci, bonsoir. So that is the Ferrari jig, and like I said, simplifies ovals. Cool. Donc une très très bonne façon de simplifier les ovales pour vous, peu importe la machine. Même si nous aussi on est équipé avec des des des, des affichages digitales, euh, on peut faire ça beaucoup plus facilement.
Okay, great. Perfect. Yeah, even though we're equipped with digitals here, it still simplifies the process. Correct. For those you don't have to have the digitals, all you need is your whatever, say like we did a 7 8 bit and we're probably close to a 31 on the front side to side in yep. which we're a little bit bigger than that, then you could actually test this with, with that. Um, and then make sure you get it to wherever you need it. Once you do that, make a, make the note on the sheet of what your specs are on your ovals. When you're done, you can duplicate them every time. Good. That's good. Or you can download Spectre. Or you can download <laughs> Spectre. That's correct. Here's the key that a lot of pro shops are missing with the interchangeable thumb. Yeah, Once they make a customer thumb, they leave it like this. Two things happen. One, it becomes illegal because you can have any metallic in a bowling ball. The other thing is, now the support between the slug and the slug goes away. So now all you have is that thin membrane of glue holding the piece together. So all we're going to... Donc ce qu'on voit ici, euh, la plupart des gens, ce qu'ils vont faire, c'est que une fois que c'est terminé d'être percé, euh, ils vont juste le laisser comme ça, mais il y a une autre partie qui manque ici. Puis comme c'est ça qu'il vient de faire, il y a, il y a le, le petit anneau de protection, il vient de le loter. Puis maintenant, il faut mettre euh, le système de sécurité. Euh, donc c'est très important de le mettre, sinon vous avez juste une fine membrane de colle qui tient le slug, euh, le, la slug avec le slug it. Donc c'est quelque chose de très très important, la prochaine étape. So now you're just going to push the stop disc that we hit when we were drilling earlier out and just throw it away. Donc maintenant qu'on a pris le petit disque, on peut juste simplement le jeter. Now you're going to get your slug it, safety molly, there's the male. And a female of that. Yeah, show the camera. Donc ici pour euh, le safety molly qu'on appelle le mécanisme de sécurité, on a deux parties, une partie mâle, une partie femelle. Okay. If this thumb hole was for someone like myself that has a small thumb, and this will not fit, just simply take a pair of scissors and trim it until it fits. Right. Okay. Donc euh, si disons quelqu'un a un trou qui est trop petit pour le, le, le système de sécurité. Simplement prendre des ciseaux pour couper l'excédent. Ok, now all you gotta do is just drop this in. Make sure now that that goes through that side. Ok, donc ici on va simplement euh, laisser tomber la partie femelle pour que ça soit parfaitement centré. Ok, now this shop is so busy they actually ran out of it, but we use Elmer's glue to put on the threads because these are made out of nylon, they'll unscrew. So you put a little drop, not super glue, Elmer's glue, the white school yep, glue. School glue yep. Pop that on the threads, finger tight is all you need. Okay. Donc, euh, ce que c'est ça vous suggère pour ça, prendre la colle blanche là, qu que tout le monde utilise au primaire, là, euh, juste mettre ça un peu sur le, les threads, puis juste le serrer de façon manuelle, puis c'est suffisant. And then put it in the ball, cut it down, shape the thumb, and you're done. Okay. Donc, simplement faire ça, mettre dans la boule, visser dans la boule, évidemment, couper, merci, et c'est fini. So that is the Ferrari jig and how we would start an interchangeable thumb system. Um, we're going to go ahead and move to the performance tape okay. and then we can take some questions and then we'll come back and drill uh, an interchangeable thumb, put all that together and then uh, we'll go over to chamois and then we'll cut the plug down and see how, that, how well that looks. Okay, great. So now we're going to pass to the new tape de performance, feel performance tape. Uh, on va parler de ça. Uh, Puis après ça, on va avoir une petite période de questions et réponses. Um, donc, euh, c'est ça. Est-ce qu'il y a déjà des questions dans le chat? Non, je suis maintenant, ça va. Ouais, juste des commentaires. Oui. Salut, Marc. Ok, cool. <rire> Alright, go ahead. Ok, so the Vice Performance Field Tape. Not only is it pretty colors, but it's also very effective. Donc maintenant on a le nouveau euh, Tape Field Performance. C'est pas seulement des belles couleurs, mais c'est aussi des, des différentes variétés de performance. So the Pro Shop with the kit will actually get a sample card just like this. Has each one of the colors, so that actually the customer can actually go in and feel the texture of the tape. Nice. Donc euh, ici avec le kit de départ, qu'est-ce que vous allez avoir, c'est euh, la petite carte ici pour désigner euh, laquelle qui va de la sortie la plus rapide à la plus lente et les, ça vous permet au client de toucher pour voir la différence dans les différentes textures. So the nice thing with each color, you get a different texture and speed of release. So you can actually put like the quicker on the back, the slower on the front, put the hat a patch or any type of skin or skin protection, the V25 or the TT25 on the back of the thumb and actually really control and manipulate how your thumb exits the ball. 
Okay, donc, comme il dit ici, si, disons, vous voulez mettre euh, une sortie plus rapide sur le dos de votre pouce, vous pouvez mettre le numéro 1, mais vous voulez, vous voulez avoir une meilleure prise dans le devant du trou, vous pouvez mettre un numéro 7. Euh, vous pouvez aussi maintenant manipuler le tout avec euh, les autres tapes qui vont sur le pouce euh, pour vraiment mettre au point votre sortie de balle. So, during the World Series, I gave samples to all the tour players. And I've gotten responses from them now. And they go all over the board. Some guys like the slicker, some guys like the tackier. I did a test last year with the ladies tour of the P PWBA. The response I got from the ladies was, as we went up north and it got cooler and less right. humidity, they started seeing themselves going towards the tackier side of the right. five, six, seven. Mm -hmm. As we were in Florida, super humid, 100 plus degrees, when they got in the bowl, they started using the slower tapes, or the right. faster tapes. So they were noticing as they were changing humidities and climates, they were actually manipulating their releases with the different tapes. Right, when I was bowling a lot actually, and we went through this a bunch of times, me and my dad, um, like you were saying, in the winter time, like my hands, like they crack super easy. Um, probably need to drink more water but right. <laughs> and, mm -hmm. and, and basically I was even thinking at one point of, of like during the winter season of going to vinyl you know never did it just because of the fact that we didn't have you know these types of tapes um, but I always struggled to, to getting a good feel especially when it was dry out and uh, personally right now it's you know obviously Montreal Canada pretty cold uh, I've been using the the yellow for about four weeks now and um, I'll tell you what, it's 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 not super tacky. Uh, that, uh, it wasn't as tacky as I expected it to be, but basically what it allows me to do, and I was telling you this earlier, is I could actually use less tape because because my hand was so dry, I had to use more tape to kind of like squeeze the thumb a little bit more. Correct. So now I could use a little bit less tape, but use the texture to hang on to it. So it's a great, it's it, for me, it's a great addition because I don't need to use as much, and it feels more comfortable because I don't have just tape ripping up my skin. Because sure. I don't use any protection tape, I'm old school like that. And uh, yeah, so so far so good, love it. Donc euh, moi perso, euh, j'ai toujours eu des troubles euh, durant la saison d'hiver. Euh, moi puis mon père, on a toujours travaillé un peu là-dessus pour moi. Puis j'ai même un an considéré de prendre une slug en vinyle pour avoir une sortie un peu plus lente euh, parce que évidemment on n'avait pas ces tapes-là il y a quelques années. Euh, puis moi, ça fait peut-être quatre, quatre ou cinq semaines maintenant que j'utilise la tape jaune, un peu plus collant. Euh, puis une chose que j'ai remarqué, c'est que j'ai besoin d'utiliser moins de tape pour avoir une prise aussi sécure, parce que dans le fond, c'est un peu plus collant, donc ça me permet d'en utiliser un peu moins pour quand même avoir tout, tout de même une bonne prise. Uh, so yeah, that's my personal uh, yeah, We have a question in the chat. Uh, they want to they wanna know if there's going to be only uh, pre-cut or some uh, buck roll also. Uh, this comes in 500 and 1,000 piece rolls. 1,000? Come on! Alors, euh, Martin Théroux, pour te répondre à la Cheer question, euh, oui, il va y avoir des roulettes de 500 et même des roulettes de 1000. Alors oui, Simon Tremblay, ça serait bon pour moi, tu as raison, avant que tu l'écrives. Donc, il dit que ça serait bon pour lui avant que quelqu'un l'écrive dans le chat. Là, il est là. Pascal, 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 Well, now you can actually go to something a little bit slicker, get the, the tight feel that you like, and still be able to exit the ball. Right. Donc, comme il dit, des fois, tu sais, on va mettre, disons, un, on, moi j'aime le, le jaune, on met le jaune, mais on trouve que ça colle trop, tu l'enlèves, ça, 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 c'est trop slack. Tu peux prendre quelque chose de plus lisse, quand même le mettre, tu sais, se sentir sécure, mais avoir une, une sortie quand même assez, euh, assez rapide. We have another question. Guys asking if these tape replace the white one, or you only put the last piece on top? No, this rip. correct. This will replace the white tape uh, because, like I said, we have eight different colors and eight different textures. One of the colors is white. That is not the original white tape. It just happens to be white in our system. Um, that is not the original tape. But yes, it will replace white tape. Okay. Donc, euh, pour répondre à la question, euh, oui, ça va remplacer le tape blanc. Cependant, ici, la couleur que vous voyez qui est blanche n'est pas l'équivalent d'un tape blanc. Uh, so, what will be the equivalent? Five. Pretty much. Uh, four or five is what I'm getting from customers depending on each person's individual texture, but four and five are the closest to the original white tape that we okay. had. Donc, uh, plus près de le, de le, du tape blanc original, ça serait soit le rouge ou le bleu uh, dans leur système à eux. Okay. Um, this tape comes in the kits in three quarter and one inch, uh, but it also comes in half inch as well. Great. Donc, uh, ça vient en trois quarts, un pouce, et ainsi en demi pouce. 
So now I can say you wanted to go to the number eight, the tacky, put that in the, if you don't use grips, uh, which you should use vice grips. Uh, but <laughs> then you could actually put the, the orange tape in the front right. and actually put it, use it on the finger side. So you give you a little bit of texture and tack to the fingers okay. as well. Donc il dit, si vous n'utilisez pas des inserts, um, vous pouvez utiliser le, la, la tape la plus lente, mais il vous suggère fortement d'utiliser des inserts vice, évidemment. <laughs> Donc, euh, vous pouvez mettre ça dans le devant de, de, de votre trou pour avoir un peu une, un peu une meilleure prise. So yeah, so you'll get the uh, field performance charts with each one, and then they'll actually get the display units just as you see here. Okay. Donc le kit pour les pro shops, ça vient comme vous voyez ici avec euh, le petit schéma ainsi que le display avec tous les différents types de. And these are bags of. Those third? are bags of 30 and 32, 32 in the three quarter, 30 in the one inch. Okay. Donc 32 dans les sachets de trois quarts et 30 dans les sachets de 1 pouce. This is tape and not fitting tape. Correct. This is this is tape and not a fitting tape. No, this this is a fitting this tape. Is a fitting this tape. goes inside the hole. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Donc ça, ça va dans le trou et non sur le pouce. But this, like you said, complements yeah. the thumb tape. Correct. Right. So again, you have different. Uh, if you take hat patch, for example. Right? right. So you've got a slow hat patch and you've got a quick hat patch. So you can now match both of those up using both styles of tape. Correct. Right? So now with the eight different types of tape, four different hat patches, the V25 or the TT25, so now you've got six different types of protection tape, eight different types of thumb textures. Now you can really fine tune what you're doing with a bowling ball. If you need more than that, then there's a problem. Yeah, then you need to then come we got to refit you. Then you need to come to Vufa right here in Montreal and get and have your fit checked. Absolutely. Donc euh, maintenant on a la possibilité avec euh, les quatre styles de Hala Patch, les deux autres styles. Uh, remind me the names NT. Uh, the TT25 TT and the V25 is the orange, purple and blue, or the green, purple and blue. Et, et le V25 ainsi que les quatre Hala Patch qui vont sur votre pouce avec les différentes textures, ainsi que les rip tape ici que vous voyez pour avoir une c'est une panoplie d'options de différentes sorties de boules, différentes vitesses de sortie. Euh, puis j'ai dit comme blague, si vous n'avez euh, pas, pas assez d'options avec ça, c'est le temps de venir nous voir ici à la Pro Shop pour refaire votre prise. <laughs> Donc, um, great. So, um, last but not least, our new Vice chamois. Chamois. There you go. Yeah. So, <laughs> we have actually developed a chamois. Obviously, it's from Vice. But what we've done is we've got a nice leather chamois. But we've put it in the shape of our logo. We did it for multiple reasons. One, it looks like our logo. Number two, because of where these little seams are at, it's easier to hold on to. So now when you're cleaning a bowling ball with it, and by the way, the plug's done. <laughs> so now you can get a hold, now you can hold on to it and be able to utilize it. Yeah. And it's easy to write your name on it, so if somebody, you can kind of keep up with it. Yeah. But we've got these in three colors, in black, blue, and red. Donc si on a le nouveau chamois aussi de, de Vice, euh, très épais, très confortable. Non seulement que ça fait la forme du logo Vice, mais aussi c'est très facile à tenir à cause de, de la grove ici en plein centre. Donc très facile à tenir comme il a démontré, euh, ainsi que sur l'écriture ici pour bien identifier votre nom. Donc euh, très très bel ajout euh, pour faire ça. Et d'ailleurs vous avez vu aussi que la plug est déjà dure, donc on est prêt à la couper. So uh, time to cut. Time to cut. Right. The question asking if there's going to be any samples given around. For the, for the tape, yes, yes. When we go, we're going to be doing some pro shop visits. Uh, we're going to have some samples. We're going to be able to give give it out. Okay. All right. She's all yours, sir. Donc oui, durant les prochains jours, si Sol va être sur la route avec Jonathan et Art dans votre coin, dans dans le coin de Québec, Trois Rivières ainsi que Toronto. So you're going to Three Rivers, Quebec City, and also Toronto area. So if ever uh, you guys are looking for some samples, uh, you know, just try to see where we're at. Jonathan and Art, you guys should probably be doing some live streams too when you're with Cecil. So uh, you could probably know where they're at. And uh, yeah, we will have samples for you guys if you wanna if you wanna try them out. And also, if anything, you know, just contact us also, and we'll be more than happy to help you out. Okay. Aussi, si jamais vous voulez des échantillons, vous pouvez essayer de voir où est-ce qu'ils sont rendus sur la petite tournée cette semaine, ainsi que vous pouvez voir. Uh, vous pouvez nous communiquer si jamais ça vous, ça, ça vous here. Here. Ouais, venez nous voir aussi en prochain. Now, here's one of the items that we're going to go back to the vice vacuum system. This is our drill shield. In this position, you're going to use it to cut plug down. 
with it blocked off, the plug material is going to stay inside the unit, not getting all over your drill press and your floor. When you're drilling, all you do is take the Velcro piece off, pull it to the back side and get it out of the way. Air will draw through here across the bit and help keep the material from the drill bit into the system. Again, keeping the area clean. Nice. Donc euh, ici avec le, le kit de, 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 de vacuum qu'on vous a démontré tout à l'heure, euh, ce morceau ici vient avec. Donc lorsque vous êtes en train de couper une plug, il vous suggère de fermer le morceau de Velcro pour permettre, à, 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 dans le fond, à tout, euh, à tout le dégât de rester ici à l'intérieur. Mais lorsque vous percez un trou, si vous êtes en train de percer un trou, il vous suggère d'ouvrir le Velcro pour laisser la circulation d'air se faire pour avoir une meilleure suction euh, de toute la cochonnerie qui va sortir de la boue. Great. Ten minutes. 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 Ten Puis, euh, comme vous pouvez voir, euh, pas trop de poussière dans la place, aucun bruit. So, no dust, no noise. Awesome. And, and another thing, too, that's really neat that, that we didn't discuss is, is the size of, of the tubing that, is, that comes with the kit. You know, right. so like when you're cutting down slugs or, or ball plug or, you know, you're, you're drilling into the slugs and you're going too fast and the shavings are too thick, um, nothing gets clogged up because. You know, this thing's right. massive. Two and a half inch hose there. Yeah. Uh, you get 12 feet of that, and then you also get the inch and a half hose. So like when you're bevel sanding all of that, then you can keep it right here close, and you get 12 feet of that as well. Yeah. And one of the things that we didn't set up because of, unfortunately, the counter space, we didn't set up the uh, ventilation hood. The ventilation hood. Uh, we were thinking about it, but because of the window that we have behind here, it kind of protruded into the view. We we're thinking of maybe putting it over here. Um, so we still have to discuss and probably run it by you to kind of think with. with yeah, actually, place. and that's what I did with one of my uh, shops that I put it in. Is I actually put it here, and then I would set the ball this way, and it would pull it out. Okay. Puis un autre truc qu'on n'a pas installé ici, c'est un petit hood de ventilation, un peu comme une hotte euh, qu'on n'a pas mis à cause de notre vitre. On trouvait que ça prenait trop de place. Puis je voulais voir avec lui justement, peut-être pour le mettre sur le côté. On l'a pas encore installé, mais c'est quand même de très bien. Puis comme je mentionnais aussi, euh, le kit vient avec euh, tous les boyaux. Ça vient avec un très gros boyau de 2 pouces et demi pour lorsqu'on perce, ainsi qu'un peu un plus petit boyau pour faire le, la finition. All right. So uh, that's about it. Good. So, is there any questions or anything that uh, anybody is uh, wanting to ask or see? Donc ici, on voit le produit fini, évidemment pas, pas terminé, terminé, là, il reste à le couper, mais on voit que les couleurs ont très très bien sorti pour une plug rapide euh, en dedans de 50 minutes qu'on est live. Là. Ouais. Some finishing work to do, but uh, still a great job, and we've only been live for 50 minutes, you know, so awesome. Awesome. You know, and like you said, the other thing too, since it cures so fast, Even when it's just a little bit hard, you could even move the ball before cutting it down to do the other that's side. That's correct. Right? So you, you said within two hours, but it could actually be less than that. Well, that's because now you have seven minutes here, seven minutes here, seven minutes here. You're 21 minutes. An hour later, you cut it down and resurface. So now you're about an hour and a half. So it gives you a half hour to drill the ball. Yeah. I hope it doesn't take you a half hour to drill the ball. <laughs> so. Yeah. Donc euh, c'est ça, comme il dit, le temps que ça va durcir jusqu'à juste assez pour être capable de bouger la boule, 7 minutes, 7 minutes, 7 minutes, donc une 20, 21 minutes juste là, après ça, une heure pour faire la finition et le repersage. Euh, si ça vous prend plus qu'une demi-heure pour percer la boule, euh, peut-être qu'il y a un problème, là, mais <laughs> c'est pas mal ça. All right. So one little trick that I'll share today. Okay. <laughs> When I'm cutting plug down, a lot of guys will use a bevel knife. No. <laughs> Span ruler okay. is one of the best things that you can use once you get it to here. When you get finished with a span ruler, you almost don't need to sand it. 
OK, great. Donc, un autre truc euh, pour euh, les petits dégâts de... Les gens, d'habitude, vont prendre leur couteau à trois tranchants pour couper. Euh, moi, moi de, durant les cours, je dis à mes élèves de ne pas faire ça parce que ça rend la boule plate. Lui, tout ce qu'il dit de prendre, c'est votre, euh, euh, votre span ruler en métal. Puis, une fois que vous avez terminé ça, euh, vous avez juste à nettoyer la boule. Donc, ça fait un excellent, excellent job. D'ailleurs, euh, je suis très surpris. C'est <rire> la première fois que je vois ça. <rire> I'm surprised. First time I see that. Nice. Fill that where I've got it for the ball. Nice. Tu vois, important de voir ce qu'on fait ici à Bouffa Distribution on Facebook Live. Very important to watch Facebook Live at Bouffa Distribution. Get Absolutely nice. So you get tips <laughs> and tricks that you never get before. <laughs> see, now you have to have a vice uh, span ruler. We do. It's innovative bowling products. Oh, okay, there you go. <laughs> True. Our sister company. I thought about that. <laughs> Need a drill press? We got you. There you go. From drill press to finger insert, between Vice and Innovative and Bufa, we can take care of any pro great, shop great. need that you've got. Okay, so uh, how much time we got left? How long? Seven minutes? Four. Four minutes. Let's go for a quick tour out back to show you guys where we got the vacuums, and then maybe show you also uh, our, 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 our setup for all the grips in the warehouse. Awesome. Perfect. Okay, let's do that. Okay. Yep. So we'll take that. We'll give it to Jonathan. All right. All right. right. We're going. Okay. Hey, by staff. We got by staff. Jean Pierre Cote. Oh yeah, absolutely. <laughs> Three and a half minutes left, my friend. Let's All right. Go. So um, ici, on a une petite salle de, de storage pour tous les boîtes vides. Puis, euh, vous pouvez voir ici qu'on a mis les deux aspirateurs. C'est des petits aspirateurs de 10 gallons, OK? Même pas gros. Il n'y a aucune euh, poussière qui sera là-dedans. C'est que, que de l'air qui rentre là-dedans. Puis, on a fiché ça jusque dans le plafond. So, only small 10 gallon 6.5 HP shop vacs that we bought for $130 on Amazon. And th this is a great trick. We had bigger ones that took up so much space. Mm -hmm. And uh, obviously, they don't weigh a thing because it's only there. Right? So really, really clean back here ever since we've done this. And since we're in Canada, you can store your salt for the outside by the way. Oh, we're going to receive one every night. Two and a half minutes. All right. Stop talking. Say hello, guys. Facebook Live. Stop to the power oval and the oval in two grips so now they can cover every need that any any customer would need in two finger inserts. Um, the other thing that we've done... La chose qu'il qu dit pour euh, les pro shops, c'est que juste avec deux styles d'insert, euh, vous pouvez couvrir euh, une vaste variété de, de votre clientèle, que ce soit euh, du côté power lift ou le côté euh, ovale ou semi, vous avez tout ça dans deux euh, produits. The tray systems that we have, we actually have an insert for them now instead of the plastic trays. This is actually biodegradable. So when we get finished with it, throw it in the trash. This actually is now eco-friendly. Okay. Donc euh, l'autre truc qu'il mentionne ici, c'est que euh, nous quand on les reçoit, on les reçoit en paquet de 25 ici comme ça de plastique. Euh, pour ceux qui ont une pro shop de, de, depuis longtemps, vous avez sûrement déjà les kits de tiroir pour les ranger. Donc ça, ça tombe dedans. Mais si vous voulez les jeter, les contenants ici sont biodégradables. Donc euh, très friendly pour ça. Excellent. Uh, we also have uh, ladies grips uh, in the same styles as the, as the regular 31, 30 seconds. Um, so we've got plenty of colors to be able to mark any of the uh, logos and colors that we have today and everything else to match bowling balls and people Great. like that. So um, any information, Vice Inserts? Viceinserts.com or they can check us out on Facebook as well. Um, I'm out on the PBA tour quite a bit doing Facebook lives out there with our players. Uh, we've got some big announcements coming in February of some players that we just recently signed that's going to be a big impact to, uh, to the Vice name. Great. Donc, euh, pour toute information, viceinserts.com ou euh, trouver ses sold sur les médias sociaux. Euh, il est très impliqué sur la PBA ainsi que le circuit féminin. Donc, euh, regardez ça dans les, euh, dans les, prochaines, euh, dans les, dans les prochaines semaines. Euh, puis, euh, comme, comme, on, comme on vous a dit, on va être dans le coin de Trois-Rivières, Québec, euh, aujourd'hui et demain ainsi que Toronto mercredi, donc si jamais vous avez des questions, commentaires, n'hésitez pas. So as we said, we'll be in Three Rivers, Quebec City and Toronto within the next couple of days. So uh, definitely please uh, check us out. So Cecil.
Thank pleasure, you, Marcus. sir. Pleasure. Yeah, and with that, Vice Inserts is the choice of champions, and it doesn't get any better. Visit Buffy Distributing here in Montreal. Thank you. Great, guys. Have a great day, everybody. Cheers.